Hi guys, Jen here with How Jen Does It. Today I'm going to be sharing my daily cleaning routine. This is what I actually do Monday through Friday and I timed everything so you can see how long it really takes me to clean my house and keep it up. That's the key, you do have to keep it up for it not to take too long. I have lots of tips for those of you who work outside of the home and for those of you who have small children, I'll share some things that I did when my kids were little. So I really hope that you find this helpful. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs Thumbs up. I did want to say when I share the times, keep in mind that includes me moving the camera around and everything. I just let the timer go the whole time. So it would actually take a little less time if you weren't doing that. So let's go ahead and get into it. First up is a very quick morning cleanup routine. This is what my room looks like without doing anything to it. So I quickly go around and straighten everything up opened up the curtains and make the bed. For those of you who have children, you can teach them to make their own bed at a very early age. I'm talking like two years old, they can pull up their comforter and they can put their own clothes in the hamper or fold them up and put them in their drawer. So this only took three minutes and 26 seconds. So this is what our living room looks like when we go to bed. And I know some people pick it up before they go to bed but we're just too tired so I leave it for the morning so I quickly went around and straightened all of this up as well and this only took one minute and 54 seconds This is what my kitchen looks like. I did want to quickly say that I am in my gym clothes because I am going to go work out after this. But if I have an appointment or somewhere to be early in the morning, I do the same thing. So this really quick routine would work for those of you who work outside of the home. So I had a little egg on my stove. I don't know if it's showing up, but I was trying to show you that. So I just quickly put the dishes in the dishwasher. There are a few things that I like to hand wash. And I did wanna say you can have everyone in your family put their dishes in the dishwasher after they're done. If your children are using their little plastic cups and bowls and utensils, they can put those in the dishwasher as well. And I did wanna say my dishwasher is so full because we were out the night before and I didn't run it because it wasn't full. So normally it's empty in the morning, but we still fit everything in there just fine. And instead of letting things build up, I just quickly wiped the egg that spilled. So this only took four minutes and 12 seconds. So no dishes in the sink. And for those of you who stay home like I do, you can put your dishes in the dishwasher throughout the day and have your children do the same. And normally this takes me even less time, but I had a pan to wash and everything. So it kind of depends on what I have for breakfast. Now I wasn't going to do laundry today because I didn't need to, my baskets weren't full, but I did have some laundry that I did yesterday. So I have had that hanging and I went ahead and put that away. For those of you who work outside of the home, I know a lot of people like to set the timer on their washer, so that really helps. You can also just have everything in the washer and then start it when you get home, just to make it easier on yourself. So I went to the gym and came back and this is the state of my bathroom. After I got home, I'm trying to show you the hair that gets on the floor and that's why I have to vacuum it. Now for those of you who are heading off to work, you would just do all of this after you got ready for work. So I just quickly wiped down the counter and the sink because my makeup gets on it. We have a white countertop and white sinks. And then I just quickly wiped down the toilet, wash my hands of course, and vacuum the hair. And that way it only took a few minutes and I have a nice clean bathroom. This took four minutes and nine seconds to be exact. And that includes of course moving the camera around.
So the total time for the morning cleanup was 15 minutes and 12 seconds. Next up, I have a once a week cleaning task. So instead of cleaning my entire house, like dusting, doing the floors, vacuuming and all of that, I do one thing a day and I do have a video on that. So today was Tuesday and I'm cleaning all of the glass and mirrors. So I'll quickly tell you my schedule. So on Mondays, instead of doing this, I would dust. On Tuesday, I clean all of the glass and mirrors throughout the whole house. On Wednesday, I vacuum the entire house. On Thursday, we have a lot of hardwood floors, so I dust and wash those. And then on Friday, I clean all of the bathrooms. Now, this saves me from having to clean the whole house in one day, and it really doesn't take that much time. So for those of you who work outside of the home, if you're more of a morning person, you could include this with your morning routine. It took me a total of 16 minutes and 14 seconds, and I was moving the camera around a lot. It usually takes about 15 minutes. And if you don't, then you have to let it build up and then do it on the weekend if you aren't a morning person, you could do this after work. It's really only about 15 to 20 minutes and that way you have the weekend free. In order to make this quick, I always start in the same place in my house and work my way around and I don't let myself get sidetracked. Next up, I have some zone cleaning. I just do this Monday through Friday. I got the idea from flylady.net at least 16 years ago, and I have been doing it ever since. I did this when I had a baby and a toddler. I've done this through living in three different homes, and it works so well. Now, if you follow Fly Lady, I do my zone cleaning differently than her, but it's still the same basic concept, and my zones are a little bit different, but you can tailor it to work for you. So I am working in the master bath this week, and then next week it'll be a different room. So I wanted to clean the jets in my tub. So while that was going, I quickly wiped down the front of the cabinet and you do something different each time. And I have videos on all of my zone cleaning. So throughout all of my home and all of the things that we need to tackle on a regular basis, but doesn't need to be done every single week. So I am cleaning out my makeup drawer. Now the total for everything here that I'm showing is 12 minutes and 38 seconds. And the reason why I can get it done so quickly is because I do these things on a rotation instead of letting them build up to where it's just completely overwhelming and it takes you 45 minutes just to clean out your makeup drawer. So it takes less time and you get to enjoy the benefits of having all of your areas nice and clean. So I also cleaned my makeup brushes. I just use a little bit of dish soap and olive oil to clean those. So here is the after. I try to keep my makeup minimal. So again, I have videos on all of the zone cleaning and I recommend that you check those out. Next up is the nighttime cleaning routine. So this is the state of the kitchen. It was kind of messy. I try to clean up the best I can while I'm cooking, but I was making salsa. So there's the food processor. I used a couple of cutting boards and we just have stuff out and there was like cilantro and bits of onion and all of that all over the floor. So it was extra dirty. And we spent a total of 17 minutes and 48 seconds. And you'll see that I wiped down the table, I wiped the handles on all of our appliances and everything. I used to have one of my boys wash the dishes and the other one would unload the dishwasher. Well, one of my sons is in college and he works a lot, so he, John took over the washing of the dishes and my other son will unload them. So it works out well and we can knock it out in no time. So basically I go around and put all of the food in containers and put them in the refrigerator. I wipe down the counters. 
I wipe down the handles of our appliances. My husband handles the dishes and then I wipe down the table and chairs really quickly and I quickly wipe down the stovetop. The more you do this, the less time it takes and I highly recommend setting a timer and seeing how quick you can get it done because when you, that timer is going, you move fast and it really, really helps. So maybe you can make like a little game out of it and see if you can improve your time. So this is the kitchen, all nice and clean. The dishwasher is going and my son will unload it before bed. We like to unload our dishwasher at night before bed. So that way when we get up, everyone can put their dishes right in the dishwasher. And I did wipe down the sink really quickly. So this took 17 minutes and 48 seconds. Sometimes we can get it done in less time. The total for everything for the whole day was 61 minutes and 52 seconds. And I will say that a lot of these things are basically just cleaning up after yourself. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you found this video helpful. Definitely check out the clean and organize challenge videos as well as the zone cleaning videos depending on where you are. I think those would be extremely helpful for you. Thanks so much for watching guys.